Tomorrow, the Iowa Hawkeyes will be taking on the Kentucky Wildcats in the Trans Perfect Music City Bowl. Local Fives Raina Garcia and Jake Brend are in Nashville to break down all the emotion and excitement within the Hawkeye fan base ahead of the big game. Well, Jake, it was another eventful day here in Nashville. We are less than 24 hours away from the big game. Well, it started this morning with the press conference when Kentucky's head coach Mark Stoops talked about kind of how football is changing and how it's gone off the rails. And I don't necessarily disagree with him with the constant changing of NIL and the transfer portal. These bowl games are definitely different than they have been before. And one part of it that's changed is the importance, at least for some players. It's common for the best players in the country to opt out of the bowl game to prepare for the NFL draft. But Hawkeye seniors like consensus All-American Jack Campbell and future pros like Sam Laporta and Riley Moss all elected to put on the black and gold one more time. Now everyone has their reasons for playing or not playing, but the decision for the captains to play made Kirk Ferentz emotional. When I signed my national letter of intent, I signed to play every single game that I'm healthy for or able to, so I'm going to go play. If you're going to have a good football team, you have to have guys like that. And, you know, we've had a lot of good players. You know, that, that's the fun of the game. You get guys like that that have that attitude and uh, desire and want to, and that's the impact that has on a team is just it's really impressive. That silence from Kirk Ferentz says it all, but the Iowa fans that are here on Broadway Street at the Hawkeye Huddle, they are not silent. No, far from it. I mean, they were hyped tonight. The place was packed. I mean, Nashville has just been crawling with Hawkeye fans since we got here. So they are hyped for the bowl game. And at the Hawkeye huddle, they really pulled out all the stops. They had the band, the cheer team. Herky was out there hyping people up. And we even got an appearance from some of the players' parents. So that was really fun to see. And, you know, the, that type of environment and atmosphere is why some of the Hawkeye fans I talked to said they love coming to bowl games. Well, That's right here. Happened. All the atmosphere. Yeah. And being with and just watching the team and celebrating with everybody. It's the atmosphere of the night before the game, the Hawk Brotherhood brings everybody together. It's a community, it's a family. Now a lot of the fans that I talked to said they made the drive from Iowa to Nashville because you know this is probably the closest the Hawkeyes have played in a bowl game probably ever. A lot of the bowl games were really far away. So you know, when you think about spending New Year's Eve in Nashville, coming to watch the Hawkeyes, it was kind of a no brainer on coming down here to make the trip. But you know, they can't party too hard tonight because uh, they got to get up bright and early for the game tomorrow. Yeah, 11 a.m. kick, but before kickoff, be sure to tune in on Local 5 for our bowl game kickoff special. And then of course the game right after on Local 5. We'll have all your coverage right here.